Hi, this is Sarah. I'm going to give you a brief overview of the user interface and main screens of Colossoft Capsa. The Capsa Network Analyzer main page is organized into six different sections the main buttons and quick access, the ribbon bar, the note explorer, the main view, the alarm explorer, and the status bar. You can configure Capsa by clicking any buttons in the ribbon and launch analysis settings. And I will introduce it in another tutorial. This is the Node Explorer, one of distinguished feature in Capsa. It contains five root levels, Protocol Explorer, Mac Explorer, IP Explorer, Process Explorer, and Application Explorer. All the protocols, Mac addresses, IP addresses, processes and applications, are grouped into these root levels. They can be used as display filters and help you find anomalies on Mac addresses, IP addresses, processes and applications. When you selecting a node in the hierarchy tree, the main view will only display statistics relating to this selected node. The most important part of CAPSA user interface is the main view. All statistics, diagnostic results, logs and reports are accessed from this section. The main view consists of 19 tabs. Let's quickly go over them. The first tab, Dashboard, provides a wide variety of network statistics. You can create a graph to display the network statistics on any object in your network. For example you can right-click any node in the Node Explorer and choose Make Graph in the Displayed menu to create a statistical graph. The second tab is Summary. This tab displays a cumulative summary of the statistics on your network. This gives you summary view of the entire network or a single node. This view will help highlight network anomalies as well. For example high traffic utilization indicates that there might be excessive downloading or uploading. The next tab is Diagnosis. CAPSA performs a diagnosis on all captured packets. CAPSA then displays the diagnosis results here in an easy to view layout. You can see all of the diagnosis results are grouped into protocol layers. This section shows the addresses of the event to help you locate the source nodes. This section shows the detailed information of the selected diagnosis event. The CAPSA Diagnosis tab is one of the most useful in quickly locating network issued and problems like an ARP attack. Next is the Protocol tab. This tab displays all protocols used on your network. You can easily find out who is downloading, uploading or watching video on YouTube. The protocol tab columns display the statistical needed to determine if there is an issue related to a specific protocol. You can click the column header to rearrange the list to find out the top talkers. There are additional information in the lower section. By selecting an item, CAPSA will display more details on the selected item to go deeper analysis. The next two tabs are MagPoint, provides traffic statistics on MAC and IP addresses in your network. With these statistics you can easily find out anomalies like ARP attack, worm activities, and DDoS attack. The next four tabs give statistics on network conversations. They are MAC conversation, IP conversation, TCP conversation, and UDP conversation. These parameters tell you which two endpoints communicated, and how many packets are sent and received. From here you can find out if there is any worm or Trojan activity in your network. The TCP conversation tab shows the reconstructed packet data so that you can read it as human language in data flow tab. The time sequence tab is really awesome and actually displays the detailed network conversation in simple words. It maps the handshaking of packets between the two nodes. This view will help you identify abnormal communication such as packet loss, slow response and so on. The data flow and time sequence tabs are also available in the UDP conversation view. The service tab is used for counting and analyzing the communication status of each service according to many parameters. It helps you learn the communication status of each service in detail. The port tab provides a port view to display port statistics based on TCP slash UDP protocols. Besides this, you can also get communications details by these ports. The VoIP call tab records VoIP-related communications. Based on the communications, you can see the statistics of call, SIP and H.323. Process tab shows the real-time local processes which are monitoring and do statistics of TX slash RX packages. Also it can drill down corresponding conversation of each local process. 
Application tab shows the real-time applications which are monitoring and do statistics of TX slash RX packages, traffics. Also it can drill down corresponding conversation of each application. Next is the matrix tab. It graphically maps out the nodes of conversations in your network with colored lines. The matrix provides an intuitive view for network communications. Network issues like ARP spoofing, BT downloading or worm activities can be quickly identified on it. The packet tab displays all packets in the packet buffer. These packets are helpful when you need to do an in-depth analysis of the original packet data. The packet selected is decoded in the field decode and the original data appears at the bottom as hexadecimal data along with the decoded letters. The log tab shows all DNS, email, FTP, HTTP, SSL certificate, VoIP call and VoIP signaling. CAPSA recognizes these seven types of communications and logs who visited a web page, when or who sent an email, who made a voice or video call with whom and what is the quality. You can also view the email log to determine if there is a worm that is sending emails to infect others. The last tab generates a report that can be saved as a PDF or HTML format and posted. It provides more useful statistics, looks better and more easily to understand. This is all for the main view. It helps you solve network problems easily and with fewer clicks. In the end, let's look at the alarm capability. CAPSA allows you create an alarm on any object and then inform you of anomalies with pop-ups windows. Alarms allow you to begin to solve network problems before the phone rings. At the bottom, this is the status bar. It tells you the general information of the current analysis. On the right side is alarm notification, the alarm bubbles will flash when an alarm triggered. Thanks for watching this video. For more information visit www.colosoft.com and download your free trial of CAPSA Enterprise to test it on your network today.